All right, so in another video, I was showing how to use the toe strap, and it was really like late or early, whatever you want to call it. I think it was like 3 a.m. or something. But anyways, I wasn't thinking 100% clear. Um, and then one of my viewers was like, I was hoping you would have just attached it the other way or figured it out. But let me show you what they meant by that because, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and pop this thing back out. So push up here. It pops the bottom out. We can pull this out. Okay, we're going to get this piece. Get this back in there. Okay, again, you twist counterclockwise here. Okay, one thing though with this method is you're going to have metal to metal contact. Um, so keep that in mind because that means it's going to scrape up in here and on the other side of the little um, whatever that toe hook ring whatever thing is called. Um, but let me show you because that that was like a good idea that you can do it that way I don't know if that's better than just looping the thing like I was showing earlier where I kind of uh, Put the loop through here and then pulled it out. But anyways, we'll show you here So we have this piece. I would recommend removing this rubber piece from inside if we're gonna do it this way Okay, so we're gonna take this out all right, then what we're gonna do, oops, let me pick this up and move it closer to the car first. Okay, so then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this and loop it into there. Okay, so you have this hooked on like that. All right, then what we're gonna do, we'll take this and we'll put this like that. Okay, I don't know why my brain wasn't working to think of that earlier. Oops, I put it the wrong way. So take this back out, okay. So put it this way, all right? So I'm gonna put it so that the threads face downwards. So here you can see this side is not threaded, but this side is. So now what we can do is we can take this, put it through here, and then what you wanna do is we're gonna get one of these rubber pieces first, okay? So I'm pretty sure you know where I'm going from here. Get that in like this, okay? Oops, can I not do it that way? Well, okay, well, get this in here, and then basically you can hook this on like that now, <laughs> all right? I don't know why my brain wasn't working to think of that earlier, but um, yeah. And then if you can, um, you can get the rubber in between here and here, because it comes with those these rubber rings. So let me put this on, but basically, you pull this up, get the rubber thing in there. Okay, I'm going to end up dropping this on the floor because I need two hands. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if the rubber thing will work. Let me put it on and I'll show you. Give me a second. Okay, yeah, the rubber thing won't stay on. It's just going to fall in between anyways. But um, here's what I meant is you can screw this on through there. But here you can see this is getting all scratched up here, which I was kind of trying to avoid. Um, but basically now you have it hooked on like this and then you have this metal to metal but again like I was saying um, I don't know if this is a good idea because this movement here I don't think is good so when the car's pulling and then the car slows down it's gonna like do this which I don't think is good but if you can't loop it through or you w just want to do that I mean it's for emergency so this will work you can do, hook it like that, all right? But again, it's metal to metal. Maybe you can get something rubber to put in this spot instead, and then that'll be good. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped. Yep, I don't know, I wasn't thinking that night. Um, but yeah, this definitely would work. You can do it that way. Um, just make sure this is um, tied on nice and tight and you should be good and you can use this as a toe strap like that and then of course you have the other one for the other car um, but uh um, it came with this piece so you would put this in the regular toe hitch right you would put this in the regular toe hitch and then you have um then you have this piece here to go in all right so i guess same thing you would put this rubber thing through here and then this would go, the rubber would go one on either side like this. Actually, let me hook this on because I haven't used this. So, and then the toe strap would go inside of this side. All right, give me a second. Let me put this on. 
I should have got my other tripod, but I'm not at home right now. But yeah, let me show you this. Okay, so I don't know when you would use these rubber things. Because in between here, as you can see, it's too tight. Like, to the point where it just... Yeah, I can barely get this thing off. So, I'm going to take this thing back out. And yeah, you probably wouldn't actually use these rubber things for this situation. So, I don't know when you would use these. I'm not sure when you would use these pieces, but it doesn't really fit right. So, this one would just go through like that. Make sure I'm putting the right side. Yeah, so this one would just go through like that. You would put the strap on first, and then you would get this into there, and obviously tighten that into place. Okay? And I can't do this with one hand. I need two hands for this. But, um, yeah, I think there we go. Okay, and then you would just tighten this on, and this would be obviously in the tow hitch thing and then the strap would go in the other end but yeah so this side I guess you can leave the rubber thing here but this side will have no rubber piece will this fit inside with it let me try give me a second okay yeah the rubber piece fits fine I just shoved it back in but it can also come out um, so as long as it's being pulled like this shouldn't be an issue and you can have this in there um, this rubber piece can like come out while it's like this so keep that in mind like I put it in without undoing the whole loop Like you can actually just pull this whole thing out. So yeah, all right I pushed it in without taking that out. But anyways, that's pretty much it We're gonna unbolt this thing if I can with one hand probably gonna like hold it with my knee or something. There we go and yeah, it works. But uh, again, the rubber things, um, they don't stay in place. They're going to, as you can see, separate like that and just fall off. So yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. I don't know why I wasn't thinking to do that before. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to wrap it back up. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right this back out yeah I don't know I guess I'm very sleep deprived <laughs> um, or I was trying so hard to get it to work a certain way that my brain was not thinking of other ways to do it but again I don't know if you want to wrap this with something to prevent it from getting all marked up um, I mean I didn't use much force on it or anything so it looks okay <clears throat> but when you're pulling the car with it, it's probably going to get all scraped off. Like this, I didn't even do anything. I think it was just shipped and the paint chipped off on it already. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.